Welcome back to JEDolphins.com. We're here with head men's soccer coach Mike Johnson as the Dolphins prepare for their season opener on Wednesday at UCF. And coach, welcome. Uh, you guys just wrapped up preseason. You had 14 new players. Talk about your preseason camp a little bit. Yeah, it was different, you know, but it was exciting. Uh, a lot of new energy came into the team. Uh, it was uh, a pleasant surprise to see the quality of the young players. Uh, we knew what we were getting with the transfer kids that were coming in as far as quality of play. Uh, but it's been a good blend of old and new. Uh, obviously, uh, preseason is grueling, going through two days. Uh, we had a quick four-day turnaround, and then we're down at University of South Florida, um, you know, preseason top 13 team in the country, and uh, had a good showing. Uh, everybody on the roster played. The uh, game ended 0-0. Zero -zero. Um, we had a couple of opportunities to win the game in that game, and... Uh, you know, so it was a good start to show that we did bring in uh, the right types of kids here. Um, then we had a week of training, and as it progressed, you know, a little fatigue started to sit in, I think, uh, about the second week. And played an exhibition game on Friday against Flagler. We held some kids out uh, with some nagging little injuries, hamstrings, particularly in the back and in the goal. Um, and we gave up some, some goals that we wouldn't normally have given up, I think, in that game. But it was a good barometer to see, you know, who's on the team is ready right now to help us win and put us in a position to win this early in the season. Um, I have a lot of faith in all the kids that we brought into the program, young and, and older, as, long, as well as with the foundation of the team that's returning. Uh, we returned 11 players from last year. Um, I think six of those kids were starters and another two or three were prominent players in the team. Um, so our foundation was good. Uh, Flagler game, giving up four goals and losing. Uh, it was a little bit disappointing coming off the USF game, and uh, that was one of the comments I made to the kids at USF. Um, that, Listen, let's keep it in perspective. It's preseason. Uh, we did a great job, you know, coming into this environment and showing that we can play at this level and compete against the top teams in the country, especially with a new group. But I also told them that this is going to be a long season, and, there, and there's 20 to 21 other games, and not every team is going to be. Uh, the big name team, the USF, where you have to really be at the top of your game just to compete. There's going to be other teams that you have to prepare for mentally and physically just as well uh, to get a result because there's no easy games in, in Division One college soccer and especially in the Atlantic Sun. I mean, you got to come to play every day. So hopefully in the learning process, um, based on the two opponents that we played, our kids are starting to mentally understand the focus and the preparation that it takes and that we have to have respect for every opponent and that we need to bring, you know, our A game, um, bring what we can bring to the table every game, physically and mentally, and uh, find a way to get a win. Coach, tomorrow night you have UCF in your season opener in Orlando. What do you hope to get out of this game after last year's game was kind of washed out with rain? Yeah, last year's game, I thought, you know, it was, it was a good game, even though the conditions were bad. I mean, it was back and forth, a high-paced game. Um, I think we, we outshot them in the game. Um, you know, they were a young team last year looking to sort of find an identity. Uh, they had been down for a few years. Uh, and they were on a little bit of a roll when they came in here. I think they were undefeated. And, uh, you know, we were still trying to find ourselves as well. But our, our kids played really well. I mean, the game ended up 0 0, but there was a lot of attack and play. And then it was shortened um, by the conditions, I think, maybe at the 78th minute mark or 80 minute mark of the game. So we didn't finish up, you know, with a win, and neither did UCF. They're pretty much the same team. They've added a couple transfer kids and uh, that have given them some quality. I actually had the opportunity to go down and watch them play an exhibition game last week against University of Tampa. Um, they're very athletic. They're, they're, they're talented. They're a team that's uh, believing in themselves, you can tell. You know, they believe now that they can win games. So we're going to have to be at our best. Um, you know, I, I don't think our kids are going to have a hard time getting excited about opening the season on the road against another big school and a great facility. So we're going to go in there, obviously, with the mindset that we, we're going to play at the top of our game and, and hopefully get a win. Coach, lastly, you'll come back and wrap up your tour of former A Sun members against Florida Atlantic on Friday at home at 7 o'clock. Talk a little bit about that game. That game last year was a, a microcosm of the whole season. <laughs> you know, we come out first 20 minutes, you know, and, and score three goals in the first half and look like it was going to be a, a runaway and, and playing extremely well. Um, and we have a light and rain delay for about five hours and never get to complete the game. So it goes down as a no contest. 
and have to get back uh, late at night, two or three in the morning from Boca Raton, uh, one day's rest and turn around and go on a road trip to North Carolina, um, which, you know, we needed to play 90 minutes to get match fitness. And both games up in, in that first tournament, you could tell we weren't 90 minutes match fit or confident because, uh, you know, I think we were leading in the first game and, and then actually even tied in the second game and uh, second halves weren't good to us. So, um, you know, the FAU game for us should sort of, you know, home opener. One of our goals is to win all our home games, you know, this year. Um, it's an in-state rival. Um, they used to be in the A-Sun. And just the fact that, you know, that game got canceled last year should leave a sour taste in our mouth based on how the game was going early for us. But hopefully, again, we'll have a good home crowd. Um, conditions will be uh, good for the Dolphins. And uh, we'll go out and hopefully start and finish uh, what was not finished last year. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Brian.